And hi, Sophie. <laughs> hi. Thank you for joining me today. How are you? No problem. Doing good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, sure. So we are we are back at uh, EIG Youth Talks, the second episode. And this week we are speaking about the chances and challenges of the Erasmus Plus project. And my guest, Gedeminas Kondrakis, thank you again for being here. Um, I would like to ask you some questions. Uh, yeah, you are working with Active Youth Lithuania, right? Yep, I'm a co-founder actually of the association. Started about seven years ago, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. What is your uh, organization doing? So basically our main, well, we started because we wanted to do better youth exchanges, better youth trainings, but it was long ago, we've been growing and every year we would add in more and more activities. So at some point we were lost because we, we had a lot of activities, but still our mission was to uh, all about youth exchanges. Um, so last year we did sort of refocus, uh, took all the loose ends and um, uh, basically found, a tr we are trying to find our new purpose again. And um, we got to um, basically a point where we see our organization as a, as a hub for young people to uh, implement their ideas, for young people to come with ideas and help them implement it in the social field. That's nice. How did you actually get into work in that field? Well, I was in, uh, in business when I started. So um, for two years, I was already uh, having a tourist company. It was back in 2013, but uh, business was all about profit, profit, profit. Uh, me and my co-founder, we wanted a little bit more from our work, not just profit, but purpose as well. That's nice. So did you actually um, participate in an Erasmus Plus project? Oh, yes. Um, that's how we started. We actually came to Turkey, um, the very east of Turkey. And um, to be fair, we didn't like the project. We thought that it's a bit of a waste of time, a little bit of waste of money, and a lot can be done better in terms of education, in terms of the uh, being focused on the topic in terms of learning. Um, so when we can, got back to Lithuania, we looked at the Erasmus program, how to start, um, and we did it. We basically, we gave it a try. Our project got approved and we did our best to live up to our promise to ourselves that Erasmus can be uh, beneficial in many ways. So a bad experience that led to, um, to the start of our organization. Nice. So uh, from your perspective, what is a successful project about? Well, successful project, I think, is when people learn, people have fun, people meet other people, and um, probably um, they remember the project eventually. Um, I think this, the last point, I think, is the most important, that they remember uh, the feelings and the uh, insights, the knowledge gained. And you have been uh, writing a lot of projects. So can you tell me about some challenges that might occur during a project, some problems you've seen? Um, do you mean during the writing process or during the implementation process? Maybe both, actually. All right, the writing process, I feel like a lot of people are a little bit afraid of the um, of the length that needs to be written, of the language that are used in, in projects. But it shouldn't be that way. I, I really feel that um, projects should be written uh, by people, for people. So evaluators are just people just like us. And we need to write them just in a everyday style, like, uh, like you would write an article to, a, I don't know, to a newspaper, to a journal. It's the same thing. You keep it simple, keep it concrete, um, and um, well, you don't need to be afraid of that. Of course, um, writing is not easy. Uh, you need some practice, but uh, it's, it becomes easier eventually. 
and um, during the implementation, now if the project is prepared well, if the project was written in a, in a proper way, the implementation becomes easier as well because um, if you have planned in advance the activities in the right way, then it usually goes smoothly. If it was written a little bit chaotic, messy, without uh, thinking about uh, what can happen and what should happen, then yeah, you will have problems and you will have to sort of find a solution on, as you go. And I don't think it's the right way. So proper preparation can help you avoid challenges. Mm -hmm. And you are uh, an expert in project writing. So is it, how is it, can everybody just write a project? What, what do I have to uh, bring to write a project actually? Um, all right, so <laughs> thanks for calling me an expert. I guess I have a little bit of experience. I do not call myself uh, like a professional. I think that you just bring your everyday skills. First of all, uh, as I've said, you need to understand that it should be a simple piece, nothing too complicated, nothing too technical. You know, to under you have to understand the topic, of course, uh, what you're writing. Uh, the project you're writing on. So the topic needs to be understood. And uh, it helps a lot if you are, if you've been uh, uh, working a little bit in the field or you know something from the, someone from the target groups, um, et cetera. And um, if you have those basic skills and basic understanding, you just need to slow, stop a little bit Take a pen, take a piece of paper. Cool. Sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> take a pen, take a piece of paper and make a plan. What do you want to do? What's the problem? How can you, what impact do you want eventually? And then go backwards. So what do you need to, to achieve to reach that impact? And then what sort of actions do you need to do to get to those achievements first? So you sort of go step by step backwards from the problem to the big impact to um, objective deliverables results and then to the activities that uh, lead to those results objectives. And um, when those results objectives lead to the impact that solves the problem. So you sort of go from Uh, backwards from from the end to the beginning and when when implementing you of course go from the beginning to the end um, I hope that was not too complicated <laughs> no that was very clear thank you I also I also uh, I also attended the course that you did about project writing okay. and it was very very nice actually well it was our first uh, so I, I, I really feel like we can do better and we are going to do better but thanks so moving to a broader picture, everybody that writes a project has a has an idea or an ideal. From your uh, from your point of view, what do you think how the world could change through these projects, or how should the world change? I know it's a big question, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, obviously, to change the world, you need a lot, and the projects are usually focused uh, on, on the small target group, on the small. Um, No, it's, it would be naive to expect a world-changing impact of a tiny project. But if it's planned well, it can absolutely impact at least some people. And what matters the most, I think, is to plan it for the long term so that it's not just a one-time thing, but the impact, the results can stay uh, for the long term, that they can be continuous. If you achieve that, I think it's a it's a it's a big achievement, and um, and congratulations because you made some impact. And eventually, it adds up a little bit of impact on a little bit of impact on a little bit of impact. So it's um, gradual, and uh, brick by brick, you can lead to some change in the community or the society. Thank you. That's a nice vision. Oh. <laughs> Do you have something to add? Well, I think um, you use the word vision. Um, every organization, every project needs to have a vision, a sort of a dream. If 
you don't have that, if you don't have that dream, that vision, then you are in a dangerous position because um, projects without dreams, organizations without dreams, they are, um, well, they tend to have way more challenging time in, in, in both uh, routine stuff because it's, it's difficult to do something if you don't really see what's, what's ahead. Thank you. No Thank problem. you for those insights. Oh, I I hope it was um, useful. Um, it's really it challenging, good. of course, because um, obviously you need to go to the topics deeper. Um, but I, I I just said the basics. I think. Yes. Good. Um, so. That's all from my side. Thank you so much for joining me and explaining it from your perspective. And um, to those who are watching, you can join us next week also. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest. You can also join uh, EIG on Instagram and also Active Youth. Thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs>